there, there is a door? Yeah, it's right there, behind the light. Oh, shit. Chris is closing the door. I gotta move the light for you, though. I gotta move the light. Hold on, folks. Last adjustment. Here we go. <laughs> This was a mistake. Was it? I mean, not doing this podcast with you, but what we did before it was. Yeah. Well, eh, you know, you we'll only see. Once, you know, it was just a shot of a uh, Bacardi. Bacardi. I Bac- gave you the bigger shot because I. Yeah, you're I the saw. Boy. I saw you did a little like uh, switcheroo over mm-hmm. there, and we chased it with Rolling Rock. Beer yeah. <laughs> A classy beer for classy men. Mm, exactly. Well. Anyway, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, I gotta clear my throat. It's a little get dusty. all that Rona out. It's been yeah, it's been a while since uh, I did a podcast, so I'm a little rusty. Wow, it's so, been a while since I've done a podcast too, because I've never done a podcast. You've before. never done one? No, sorry. Well, sorry to disappoint. They're usually nicer than this. <laughs> I, don't know, I think this... this one's going okay. This has now become the traveling podcast. Like the set, the home base, gone, dead, everything. Do you have benefits? No, it's just dead. (laughs) I got no will. I got no Miss Pac Man machine in the background. Just a bunch of lovely kaiju Godzilla figures here. They are very lovely. Because we're with a Godzilla expert. You know? Howdy. I might know a few bars of Hamilton. Some people could say I finesse in that. But this is an expert in Godzilla. Like, wow. I could could I ask you a Godzilla question and stump you? It depends. It really does? Yeah, let's see. what. I got to think of one. I should have came more prepared. You should have. Sh- I, I just got to say that, that like, it's, it's a secret that's been inside me. I just love I love the big green gray guy. Yeah. Godzilla's who I'm referring to. Yes. Oh my god, he's dope. Uh, uh, everyone's icon. Do you? How old were you when you? you actually, you know what? Bef- you know, I, I'm jumping ahead. Okay. You know, I do this thing on the podcast where I don't properly introduce my guest. Very true. And that's yeah, I don't think you said my name. That's that's <laughs> that's my fault though because I'm so eager. You know, I have a hunger. And I just want to get into the meat of it, but I have to remember: in a burger, there's bun, there's cheese. That's how I get on mine. Mm. You, usually, there's like onions, tomatoes, lettuce, but not me. I throw all that out. Very simple. You Gross know? green stuff. Cheese, ketchup, meat. Cheese, ketchup, meat. Bread, meat, cheese. That's my diet. I actually ate a salad for the first time the other day. Yeah, about I heard. six leaves. Six leaves. Does that count? Like, you know when you see a movie and they go to the fancy restaurant and the, the portions are small? Yeah. That was me eating a salad. With the pinky out as you cut it with your knife and fork? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Well, I didn't really cut it. I just shoved it in. Stuffed it in just... With, like, fish. So, like, I would, like, eat the... F- I also started eating fish. Really? Like, all of a sudden, like, I'm just, like opening opening my palate up well now you, now you can actually come over for dinner I yeah can i actually know. make you actual food that there's some craft mac and cheese with hot dogs in yeah it. whoa pepperoni <laughs> please step aside well i got christian dom with me is, howdy, you, howdy. is it okay if i say your full yeah, name yeah you can say my full name okay i don't say my full name well i mean not that a quick google search you could figure it out quite quickly I kind of want people to know who i am whoa <laughs> whoa so what do you do why are you here? I mean, like, I mean, like, the the bar to get on the podcast is pretty low, so it's not like why are you here, but like, why do you want to be here? So, I am an artist, and currently I'm doing a series of Godzilla art because I am a massive fan of Godzilla. We already know this. My uh, art Instagram handle is artsymartsy94. Art wait, artsymartsy. A R T Z Y. M-A-R-T-Z-Y-94. 
Link in the description. Link in the description. I also have a YouTube channel where I post videos of my art. Artsy Martsy 94 artist. Which is just you like sketching them out, right? Yeah, I just it's just a, a sped up uh, time recording of my screen as I do my digital art. Did you ever forget to like do one? Like, oh, I didn't start the screen record. Well, I actually have been very good about it, but I did not start my series doing them. Okay. And it was only a thought that came to me afterwards. And I was like, you know what? I used to look up like YouTube videos of people drawing stuff. And like, I feel like if in, in my child's shoes, if I looked up how to draw or like drawing Godzilla monsters, I'd love to see somebody's YouTube videos of them drawing them and actually having them look good. But, you know. Wow. Not to pat myself on the back. You know, I <laughs> I used to draw. Yeah. You know, we have very similar backgrounds. We went mm. to the same high school. Yes. We're in the same grade. We both like Godzilla. And I used to draw. And I even have, you see these? You see these? Ooh. These are canvases that I spray painted, right? They used mm. to be white. Now they're black. I wanted to draw Smash Bros. characters because I love Smash. Uh -huh. It's my favorite game. Shout out to Minecraft Steve. I got him in Elite Smash. Mm, yeah, I'm very good nice. with Minecraft I was Steve. very, actually, I, I, I didn't believe that was a thing. I thought people were just fucking with me. And then, like. No, that actually yeah. happened. Yeah, no, everyone, I, I mean, like, listen, he's a little cheap. He's a little OP. And they did, have, they did have to redesign the entire game around him. Really? Because he's such a unique character. But I think it was worth it. I think so too. I need to get the DLC so I can play him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can get I I do Nintendo has my soul and I bought both DLC packs. So I basically bought the Smash game twice. Yeah. Classic. That's fine. That's what people are doing with Sword and Shield. But yeah, but I mean like <laughs> that's why I'm waiting for a bundle. I mm. want them to bundle the full game. They're not going to the do DLC. that. They're going to produce Eventually. the next redo and then they're going to be like, "Here's your Diamond Pearl redo stuff it down your face anyway uh i'm gonna put this away basically it's canvas i spray painted black because i wanted to paint the smash bros characters and i never did that's what i did to that one up there that doom one i spray painted it black and then i painted over it and this has been like this since about 2016 and i say i'm gonna get to it and when corona happened i was like that's it this is the this time is it is i just and then you didn't i didn't yeah so I just want to say, because like, listen, like I understand, you know, people tell me that I, I, I just sound like I'm talking out of my butt, you know, with, you know, about art and how I give it, give a shice. But like I do, I spray painted a white canvas black and I wanted to paint on it. And I did one of those things. You know, honestly, somebody is probably out there looking at a canvas that was spray painted black and paying $5,000 for it. So I think you're good. Thank you. Maybe, I mean, like, now I feel like I just... Do you... When you draw these, do you need, like, a space? Do you have, like, a ritual? Like, because for me, it's like, I need, like, like give me a moment. I need my moment. So it actually... It's funny. It's part of my morning routine. So I started it when one day I, you know, I, I took a risk. I sold my old tablet and I bought a new one and a better one. So I hooked it up to my computer and then I came home from a run, run one morning and I decided, you know what, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to play with it. All right. If I'm going to play with it, what am I going to draw on it? And then I was like, well, I can try drawing Godzilla. I've never actually successfully drawn Godzilla before, but I was like, you know what, let's just, you know, I'm just playing with it. And I drew this beautiful Godzilla bust. And I actually decided I really liked it. So the next morning, and it took it took like half an hour, like 40 minutes. So like the next morning I went for my run, came back and I was like, let me do another one. And then I decided that it really helped me be productive with my day to get like a drawing out because then I was starting to do art again. So I made it into part of my routine. I go out in the morning, get up early, like 6.37, go Whoa. for my run to the coffee potter down the street. And then I come back uh, with my roommate and then I sit down. I do my little half an hour Godzilla sketch. And then all of a sudden, before I knew it, I noticed that like my art was improving and the uh, habitual practice of art was actually like making me feel good about my talent. And I realized that I was also making this series of art drawings that I was like, wow, okay, these are pretty cool. And I had started posting on the Godzilla subreddit. 
And I said, I don't want to bore you guys, but I've, I've started drawing Godzillas and I don't want to, I, I, I want to know if you want me to post them every day or not, or wait to like post them and heap sums. And they were all like, yo, spam the subreddit, man. Like show us all these drawings. So then I started, that became my routine. I would wake up, go for a run, draw my Godzilla, and then I would post it on the, the subreddit. And then shortly afterwards, I was like, you know what? I kind of want to like record myself drawing it because I like those art videos, you know? So I started, I got like this free, like, you know, screen cap software and I started to record them. And at first there was an issue with my computer that I needed to work out with like space and everything. So like for a lot of my drawings, I didn't have recordings, but eventually when I started doing it every day, I ended up having this art channel on YouTube of all my drawings that I was doing. And it ended up taking like my little morning routine ended up going from like an hour and a half to like three hour long like morning routines before I could actually go to work and be productive. But I think I think it actually started to help me out a lot. So help help you out with with what? Being productive. Being productive. Yeah. I feel that. I mean, just the thought that you say you go on a run every morning. <laughs> You're, are you laughing? Well, what are you laughing I'm at? I'm laughing at the fact that it, that's like a a rigorous activity that a lot of people wake up and they're like, oh, no. Like, I'm not going to go for a run to the coffee potter five miles away, you know? It's five. five it's, it's two and a half two miles and a half, to get there and then two and a half miles to come to back. back. So it's basically five. Yeah. Wow. You know, I have trouble waking up when the stock market opens. 930. I think that's just depression. Is it? <laughs> I feel like, you know, like, honestly, today... I was I had like voices in my head of other people and they were just like casting down like negative negative things about me and I was like is this what people with depression have? Sounds about <laughs> right. Yeah. Can confirm. <laughs> that was crazy. Anyway, anyway. That was did you have that speech prepared? No. That just that just flew off the tongue. Yeah. I wish I could have a thought longer than three syllables. That was a. I like to talk about myself. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can tell. I was like trying to get, I was like, uh, 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 trying to get a word in there, dude, but I couldn't. But well, the floor is yours. Well, well, I, I have some questions. Uh, okay. Uh, one is how much time do we have left before break? Ten minutes. There we go. There we go. I got a lot of text messages. You know, no one texts me unless I do this podcast. Yeah, I feel that. It's just like I get the new iPhone every year, and I I, I start to think why, because mm-hmm. nobody ever hits me up. Very true, but you get those little bitmoji things going on, or the little whatever they call them, animojis. Or... So what what do you what do you use to draw? Like what tablet do you use? Do you use an so iPad I Pro? use the Wacom Cintiq sixteen. Wacom Cintiq 16. It's basically just a computer monitor that you can take a stylus to and draw on it like it's a piece of paper. Mm. Um, it acts as a display. So when I put it into my computer, I do. Uh, I started doing dual display. So there's my regular monitor and then like my Cintiq. But then now my art station has three displays, which Whoa. is kind of annoying. But I mean, if you go into Windows and set it up. But I use the Wacom Cintiq 16. And then I also use the program is called um, Clip Studio Pro. So no Photoshop, no Illustrator. No, it's Clip Studio. Clip Studio. Yeah, it's uh, they do um, they have a, a Clip paint function. Studio. Clip Studio. I don't know why I whispered it, but paint function. They have a paint function, which is just like um, kind of you know the Photoshop. You draw on it, you can make um like panels like comic book panels and stuff on it and that's what my friend i have a friend nick capone who's a, a comic book artist and he that's what he uses and he suggested it to me and it works really well so i have a question yeah i don't know too much about the drawing world mm-hmm. so especially digital drawing world which is what you're doing on the on, on the whack off tablet yes uh- <laughs> that's what it is whack off <laughs> multi-million dollar company um so like i mean kind of like what you're saying is like is almost i i mean like okay so like i don't want to sound like an asshole here but you're gonna sound like but an i'm asshole. gonna sound like an ass well i'm like 
it's going to be like half me sounding like an asshole, half me asking a general question, which is mm-hmm. basically my life story, is like not using, I don't want to say like the latest and greatest, like not using like somebody who's drawing, you would immediately think Illustrator or Photoshop, using these these other programs is it do you think it's holding back your art or do you think there's a little bit more of like some type of like pre-2020 aesthetic to it like like almost like uh more like classical drawings than like if you could do like have like all the bells and whistles and like really make it look like as fresh as beyonce or something so I will say that um, I have used Photoshop. I've never used Illustrator, but I, I tried to play with Illustrator in school and I didn't like the vector system. Um, Photoshop, you know, I never really used a tablet for it, maybe for graphic design class in, in West Morris. But um, I just I found that these other programs, because I back when I got like a, my first digital tablet way before college, I used this program that I bought for $20 on Amazon called Sketchbook Pro. Mm-hmm. And it was just these programs are made to look like when you're drawing on them, they're made to look like the page. Like they're made to look like the physical medium. So what I like about this new one that I'm using is I draw on it. And when I print it out and I can see it in the detail, it actually looks like I used f- like ink, like I drew it physically. Like, it bleeds into the canvas, kind of like it bleeds, in, the ink bleeds into paper. Yeah. So, it, I, I like that these these other programs, they're built specifically to look like that. Okay. Like a hardcore physical medium. Photoshop has, you know, more of a a pristine, clean quality to it, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what, yeah. what I was getting at, is like, is the, is the program, like, is it hindering... Or helping. I think it helps because it makes it look real. Yeah. You know, it makes it look like, you know, I spent my time on it and everything. But if people do it digitally in Photoshop or whatever and they make it look crisp and clean and immaculate, it's kind of like, yeah, somebody took something and they threw it into Photoshop and did it. But, like, these programs, they make it look like, yeah, somebody sat down, they had paper in front of them, and they made this thing physically, you know? So it really puts, like, it, it lets people know that that digital artist worked on it and worked on it hard, you know? I feel that. A little part of me wants to buy an iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and and start the drawing, <laughs> you know? But then a little part of me goes, you're not going to do it. Mm-hmm. Do you yeah. ever have, like, artist block? Like- All the time. I actually only started doing my art, like, religiously because of COVID because I didn't need to go to work every day mm. because I was sitting there doing nothing and I got to the point where I was like dude you need to do something you need to like start doing your art and um I started just doing it for fun and when I was like you know doing it for fun um I had a therapist who was like hey like your art is really good I'll commission you for it so I I got my first art commission ever and I was like oh wow this is cool I'm making money doing this and so I did it, and I made the painting, and I gave it to him, and, you know, he loved it, and he said he would commission me for more pieces in the future, and, um, you know, it was, it was, like, kind of, like, I'm a good artist. I can do this. I just need to practice, so it, like, it's been nice to get yourself into your routine. It's always that first, like, I need to sit down, and I need to do it, and it comes down to motivation, and I really find a lot of the time that I don't have uh, a, a that's what i'm missing the motivation you know? the motivation and it's the hardest part of it but once you just kick yourself in the ass and be like listen you piece of shit just sit down and be productive and like, you sit yeah, yourself down i could be tiktok famous you could be tiktok famous but anyone I mean, could be tiktok any, famous but then do you want to be tiktok famous because anybody can be pick tiktok famous i mean if i get my own dunkin donuts drink named after me charlie d'amelio then I mean, like, I don't see what the problem would be, right? Uh, the Joshua Prosciutto Latte. It's completely free because you only get it signing up for the free trial of Dunkin' Donuts. Mm-hmm. And you can use a fake email and phone number every time mm-hmm. you sign up, so you can always get the drink for You free. get two if your email says Josh Prosciutto in it. Yeah, if it has the words Josh or Prosciutto in it. Prosciutto, yes. Prosciutto. And it's just cold brew coffee with a little cream and a massive amount no, of sugar. No, 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 no. It would be, oh, what would it be? 
It would be cold brew, yes, with a shot of espresso, right? A good, like, 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 not too much cream, all right? Because, you know, I want the coffee taste. So, cold brew, shot of espresso, light cream, and that doesn't mean, like, the cream is light, like, you know, like, skim milk, light cream, like, no, like, light on, like, cream. We're using Heavy cream, whipping cream, heavy cream, whipping cream, if we have it on hand. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know if Dunkin' Donuts has that. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts has heavy cream. Yeah, so it would be cold brew, shot of espresso, light cream, no ice, or three icicles, just three pieces of ice. Very light ice, like mm-hmm. this much ice. Like I always ask low ice or no ice. Ice recession. Drinks. I've been charged for asking for light ice. Really? Mm-hmm. But they're okay that's corporate america for yeah. you. well it wasn't corporate america it was mom and pop mm. and they were like well less ice means more product more product uh, i get it exactly i get it i know i never went to that place again mm. because i was just like this is crazy would you have a flavor shot in it no okay but also like low-key like flavor shots like shouldn't cost extra like flavor should be free but the bottle is like 10 bucks so Who how are they gonna make up ten, the profit if they don't charge you for because like because ten dollars? It's that honestly bottle. probably more like forty bucks, but no, I bought in one of those flavor bottles before I have one because I do my own brew at home now, mm-hmm. and a flavor bottle is like you're right, it's like ten fifteen bucks, and you get like a hundred and twenty squirts out of it. Just give it to the people. Squirts. Give it to the people. Give them the squirts. All right, when we get back. Christian's gonna show us some of his art. We're actually gonna talk about Godzilla. It's a bummer. Yeah. Welcome back to the show. Which is a bummer. Bummer of a show. Bummer of a show. Damn, don't say that. It's so me. depressing being don't in here, Josh. S- Dude, like honestly, like if you let the thoughts of the world crash in on your head, I feel like a majority of people would be depressed. Very true. I right? feel like the majority of the people in the world are. Do you want to talk about depression real quick? Sure. I always I have felt time to talk about depression. Bit. I felt it a little bit earlier this year when we worked together. Yeah. Not because of you. No, you obviously were... not. I'm a ray of sunshine on a cloudy yeah. day. I mean... <laughs> All right. That's fine. <laughs> like a pig that rolls in his own filth dude that's what i find myself here on the podcast yeah i like to just go for it you know i've predicted a few things on this podcast this particular one Mm -hmm. i predicted covid yeah talked about it in january i remember yeah that's a big big accomplishment covid that seems like it's actually gonna be a big deal it ended up being the biggest deal i was like i feel like just got a hunch (laughs) we should be a little bit more concerned about what's going on but i don't want to talk about that because you know what that bores me yeah because like now it's like you can't avoid it Mm -hmm. it's everywhere it's it's even crawled its way under this awful show (laughs) the algorithm's gonna get me good yeah facebook's gonna block you yeah i uploaded like one episode of this podcast to facebook and i got like no views yeah facebook video was supposed to be the youtube competitor i don't know it was no but then the agendas i guess i guess yeah the v's for vendetta right Mm -hmm. billy eilish do you know who that is yes i know who billy eilish is i predicted her as well did you yes i liked her i listened to billy eilish before she was popular yes Josh i Prezuto. did i did great girl mm-hmm. and i remember listening to her doing her music in 2017 wow yeah early early 2018 mm. i know it seems like it was miles away but i i was in hawaii filming a tv show for animal planet called the adventures of uh dr buckeye bottoms really okay one season show didn't get renewed real sad (laughs) bummer the premise was there's a vet who lives in hawaii 
His name is Buckeye Bottoms. His name is Dr. Buck. Doctor. He's Dr. Doctor Buckeye, Buckeye Bottoms. Bottom. He had a dog, and he went surfing with the dog, I think. Of course he did. Like the dog on the surfboard. Or me, I don't know. I might be making that part up. I feel like I've definitely seen that somewhere <laughs> before. <laughs> but no, it was uh, one season show. You can probably find it somewhere on Amazon or whatever. And um, I was uh, hired just to do the pickups, just like we need to get like a few more things. Mm -hmm. And like that was upsetting because like the main stint of the show was like a six month shoot. Yeah. So it would have been like an all expense paid six month trip to Hawaii. Hawaii. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Those, that's, that's what I want to do. You know, those that's six like, days uh, were great. I'd love to do a show like that. I went snorkeling. Ugh. I'd Hawaii. never been snorkeling before. Well, Hawaii is a good place to start. Yeah. That was like the baby version, though, where you just have your goggles mm-hmm. and you're just like right on the surface. Yeah. Scuba diving would have been like something else. I tried to go scuba diving in Cancun when I was there last week, but they didn't have any room. What is it? No more room in the suit? No more room in the class. Cause... Oh, stop mentioning it by name. You know, with everything going on. The minor inconvenience. You know? In these unprecedented times. But, like, we worked together earlier this year. Mm-hmm. And, and for me, it was, you know, a um, experience that I had. Yeah. It doesn't even feel like it was this year, believe it or not. It feels like it was, like, a year or two years ago. Uh, I this, mean, it's almost been a year. Yeah. Because well, I came out in January. Yeah, I, I did work there late December, January, February, March. Yeah. Well, no, I feel like I had to do a couple things in April that I didn't get paid for, unfortunately. But, <laughs> but I mean, like, tell me about that day. Because, you know, I, I think it's really funny how, like, before that day, we were in two separate worlds, and then all of a sudden, you I was doing inventory, which means I was just on my phone, <laughs> and I look to my right, and you come bursting through the door. And, I believe my first words were, hey, buddy. Yeah, like, hey, Josh, you said my name, like, hey, Josh Prezuto, haven't seen you. Yeah. And like, I'm sorry, oh. I couldn't quite hear you. Yeah, well, you're not supposed to be listening, <laughs> okay? That's... Siri's always listening. Yeah, so it was, too, too, and it was funny because I was warned about you, too. Oh, yeah? Like, r- like I don't want <laughs> I'm not gonna mention any names. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna. I, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because you know, I, I, like she was like, so this guy, so this guy named Christian is coming today, and he knows who you are, and me, like I don't even know who I am. Yeah, I was in a state who of mind. I? <laughs> I was in a state of mind, and I was like Christian. No idea who this is. I wasn't even thinking about you, the yeah. the individual, right? And you burst through the doors, right? I'm staying there, and I'm just like, I like look at you, and I'm like, who is this guy? And then I realize, I was like, oh my god, he's different. He's got piercings, a beard, long hair, lost weight, lost weight. That's very true. That's very true. I got it, but like. I gotta say, like, when we started high school, you are very skinny. Yeah, uh, that was because I was on uh, ADD medication, so I wasn't eating. And then I went off the ADD medication, and all of a sudden I ate everything. So then I was 200 pounds. 220 was, I think, my heaviest weight. I gotta say, you're one of my... I, I have two friends, you and another guy that I've been trying to get on the podcast, named Jack... We should call Jack. Hold on. We got to call Jack. Oh, my God. This is going to be so funny. It's his birthday today. Oh. Jack? <laughs> Jack, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Nice. What's up? What's up, buddy? Happy birthday. You're on the Small and Tall podcast. 
I am not on the podcast right now. Yeah, you are, buddy. We we hit the record button not too long ago. Oh my gosh. I have a quick question for you. And and okay. and, and feel and feel free to say no, but I have um I have a f- I don't know how to put this nicely, but I have a fellow fatty here who lost the weight and is now in incredible shape like you. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, his name's Christian. What's up? Say hi. How are you doing, Jack? Pretty good. How are you doing? I'm okay. I'm being berated about my high school weight. <laughs> Dude, I've known Josh for a while and he's been doing that to me the entire time as well. <laughs> I mentioned it today because it was his birthday. Uh, I was like, hey, just by the way, you were fat as shit. <laughs> Who are you talking to right now? I think it's you in this particular instance. <laughs> I'm talking oh to both God. of you. <laughs> Every time you introduce me to people, you're like, this is my friend Jack. He used to be really fat when I first met him. And then everyone just looks at me really awkwardly like, you know, how do I respond to that? Like, okay. How do you respond to that? I don't. I don't. I don't. kind of a thing. Yeah, I, I used to be fat too, okay? Like, I was fat for a minute there. Josh was an Oompa Loompa once. I, re- I really was. When I first started video editing, like, as a job, like, kind of like, like when you first started your art, I got like real obsessed with it and I would only edit all day long, which means no exercise. Mm-hmm. So I just really bulked up and they used to call me Fat Fez, right, Jack? I I have no idea. I don't even remember that. That's Did I know you during that time? Yeah, you know me a long ass time, Jack. Don't don't pull that shit on me on the podcast. Maybe he just like <laughs> I mean, what? I've known you since like 2012 or some shit, right? That's a long ass time. Wow, Jack, good f-ing call, yeah, my guy. That's when you started. That would have been when you started at camp, or yeah, or first allowed to, I should say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you guys have like like I'll have a, I'll ask a question to both of you, Jack, and then and then I'll let you go. Jack is training to be a nurse. He's gonna actually appear on my podcast. You met him. He was at one of my parties. Yes. Yeah. So you know who this is. One of the coolest guys I know. One of them. Thank you. One of them. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> Me being the other. Yeah, you being the other. I only know two. But, um, um, like, I just gotta say, like, when, like, when did you guys, like, realize the weight was finally coming off, shredding off? Um. I was, who, you wanna go first? <laughs> no, you go first. I gotta think. Alright, so, I was in middle school, and honestly, I didn't even notice, because, like, I went to school one day. And someone was walking with someone else in the hall, and they said, hey, Jack, and this guy who I, like, kind of vaguely knew, who was, like, next to him, looks at me and goes, wait, you're Jack? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, damn, you lost a lot of weight and walked away. And I was like, oh, I guess that's a compliment. (laughs) Mine wasn't nearly as exciting. I just uh, a couple years ago decided I would start working out, and then I did it, and then I lost weight. How long did it take? It took like a solid, you know, six months because I was also changing my diet. Mm. Um, so I shredded like since I, I really went hardcore into it last two years ago. But then uh, I shredded like I think it was like 50 pounds, went from 195 to like 145 in seven months. Damn, that's like 40 pounds. 30. Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to get to 99. Jack, does that sound healthy? I mean, Can you repeat that? I'm trying to get a 99 pounds. How much do you weigh now? Like 115. I uh, I don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you if that's good or bad. It seems like it seems like a lot of weight to not have. I will say that. Yeah, I mean, but also you're pretty small. Yeah, so. that's why it's the small and tall podcast. Anyway, Jack, thank you for uh, picking up your phone. You're really good at that most of the time. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm not. <laughs> I'm very busy. I'm so bad. Creaky, 21 year old, still in college, dude. I miss it, man. Mm. He doesn't know it now, but he's like literally living the dream. Do you feel like you're living the dream? I mean, I guess so. I'm that's kinda... that's how you know. That's it. Out. That's how you know.
All right, Jack. Thank you. Thank you for uh, calling in. Uh, this is going to be your favorite part of the video if you make it about like 30 minutes in. All right, I'll, uh, I'll definitely be sure to watch it because now I know I'm in it. <laughs> Good. Somebody yeah. needs to. <laughs> Very true. And the more right, people who look it. Then. All right. Bye, Jack. I love that guy. I got to say, he's... He's just a great, almost too great. He's got some skeletons in his closet. You know, maybe, no, definitely not this guy. Yeah. Definitely not this guy. Captain America. Right? He could be. Mm. He could be. Speaking about fine works of art. Yes. <laughs> how was that for gradual? That was a gradual intersection. <laughs> so, works. I... I have with me a few of my Godzilla drawings. Okay. This, are, th are these for sale before we start? These are for sale. Each how one of these is about $50. How long does it take you to make one? It takes me about anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour. With all the process that goes into it. And then printing them is a kind of a bitch. Oh, too. yeah. Printing them costs the... Uh, yeah, the dough. Yeah. It's, you're really paying for the cost of the print. Yeah. If somebody wants to buy just the picture itself on the canvas, it's like 35 bucks. Oh, right? that's that's more yeah. than fair. Yeah. So who so, we got here? So this is actually the first drawing I did that got me into the whole Godzilla routine. And this is Godzilla from 1964, Godzilla vs. The Thing. Wow, so. that's really good. I'll hold it. I'll, I'll go. like, I'll like hold hold them in, as we as we go through them. Okay, this wow. This is the second one I made. This is the original Godzilla, nineteen fifty four. So this is OG Godzilla. This is OG, black and white. He's the he is the this, Godzilla. Back when Godzilla was symbolism for the nuclear bomb. Exactly. So this is a nice piece. Mm -hmm. And if you can even look like these pieces. Like they look, like like from yes they look like they're from the same artist, but like as you can see, like this one is like I I just want to like point this out, like this movie was like only in black and white, like mm -hmm. that's how old Godzilla is, like there wasn't even color in film yeah. yet. I know some of you guys can't even imagine that, mm -hmm. but like that's what it was. So like I like how you didn't use any colors, like yeah, it's, it, it's very true to form. I tried to make them look exactly like they looked in the movie. Yeah, and he looks different. Yeah, he looks time. different because they always made different suits for him. Do you know why they did that? Just because of, you know, the suits fell apart after they were done filming and everything. And they just, you know, it, it came to, like, um a tradition that Godzilla would, you know, be different every time. They would try to make a different, you know. I kind of do, like, have, like, maybe, like, a brief memory of, like, being excited to see how Godzilla is going to look in this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like how much longer it was always his tail for me yeah because his tail changes lengths quite frequently yeah and it, like he gets like fatter at the end or like skinny and pointy at the end yeah moving on so anyway this is titanosaurus uh, this... one of my og favorites from terror of mechagodzilla yeah that is this isn't one of the more popular characters no he is my personal favorite i liked the way he roared it was weird and um i liked his skin for some reason I felt like his underbelly looked like the cream cheese you would find on a cheese danish. Um, but this was from the Terror of Mechagodzilla, which was the last original classic series Godzilla movie made in 1974. Wow. 75. 75. Okay. And yeah. then... There this, he is. This is Final Wars Godzilla. So this is the last Godzilla... He was in the movie that was meant to be the last one of the Godzilla series, the Godzilla franchise, in 2004. And in this one, they had pr Godzilla show up, and he fought every, pretty much every single monster every he's month. ever fought. Kicked the shit out of Godzilla 2000. Oh, no, it was Godzilla 98. Yeah, yeah, Zilla, Zilla from the uh, Matthew Broderick film. Just yeah. literally showed up, hit him with his tail, and blew him up. Yeah, it was the funniest thing. This movie, I have very, uh, very, like, clear memories of this movie this is the movie final wars where it's the robot people so it was the aliens 
the aliens yeah. and like there's like the alien like but they don't know they're aliens yes. originally because of their sh- eyelids or something yeah the, sh- the eyelids like they yeah. blinked and they saw See, them i know camera. what i'm talking about yeah I but the one where he's running about. after them in the car yeah and he's running after them and they're like how the how the heck is he doing he's running. that's that movie behind you the godzilla versus king Ghidorah. it's a completely different one that's a completely different yes one? when he's running after them and he like stops them and like um knocks over their jeep or whatever and steals them and brings them back to the ship that was that one i'm confusing them yes you are wow i like the one where godzilla gets eaten by the rosebud as well oh yeah godzilla versus biolante yeah that's one of my favorites that was a good one i used to think that was my mom's middle name biolante yeah i was like this is the godzilla movie with my mom's middle name Ooh. that was me as a child that sounds like you as a child <laughs> Wow. So these are just a few of my favorites that I've picked, but I have a lot of them so far, and I'm still making more every day. So is it like a Shopify Etsy account? Uh, not yet. It's more of a if you find my username on Reddit or you find my art on like YouTube or my Instagram, you can ask me for it. I'm Somebody working on making an online sh- an online shop. Um, my working title for my my shop is called Weeb Shit weeb shit weeb shit but the i and shit is an exclamation point so you're planning on doing more than just godzilla yes eventually i'll do like i have a a doom painting over there that i i'm gonna i'm just gonna be selling cut the shit do all 78 smash characters i'll do that eventually i'm sure so i'm i'll do like a a long like last supper type of deal they have one of those yeah i'm sure they do they they Nintendo has one of like all the Smash characters, and then every single time a new one introdu- is introduced, they like slightly they edit it in. Yeah, they yeah. slightly modify it and they put them in. So makes sense. I mean, like that's what I was planning on doing. My first one was gonna be Lucas. Mm-hmm. Here he. Ah, uh, so you had a plan. It was planned. I was originally like, you can kind of see, like I cut out all his limbs mm-hmm. and like his head and his hair like too because i was gonna like Trace peel them, them. off yeah. and then paint it and then put them back on and paint it stencil it it's like kind of like kind of like um not really i i want to say stencil it more of just like um like real simple design so like his face would be one color and i i, I don't know like i was just kind of just like cutting out the but as you can see, all I did was wasted somebody's printer ink, and I know who it is. Is Nico? Thank you, Nico. I spilt coke on his rug. I le- he let me stay with him for about four days. I spilt coke on his rug, moved a piece of furniture over it, left, and I never told him. And he still holds it against me to this day. That happened about a year and a half ago, maybe even two. <laughs> anyway, so I'll put this away. But as you can see. This is as close as I got to anything that you have been doing. So, just two artists kind of, you know, chit-chatting. Doing their deal. <clears throat> got a little cold. So I put on a jacket. Teddy Fresh. Staying pretty fresh with the teddy. At the end of the day, what does, what what does this fash fascination with uh, Godzilla entail to you? Like at the end of the day, like why this? Out of everything, you know, to be a fan of Star Wars, Star Trek, Godzilla, Mario, Disney, Nintendo, is it the nostalgia factor? Um. I always liked things with big teeth and claws. So I, you know, I was a big fan of dinosaurs growing up. And then I saw Jurassic Park and I loved it. And then my mom ended up one day bringing home a Godzilla movie. And she was like, my mom made me watch this every day. Blah, 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 blah. It was on channel three. And so then she showed me this black and white movie of this monster just burning stuff and like destroying everything. And it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then I found out that there were more movies and it was like Godzilla fighting other monsters and all these other cool, colorful monsters and explosions. My just ADD prone kid was just like, this is wild. Look at all these things exploding. These monsters are so big and they're so cool looking and they have powers. 
So I, it, it was just something that I instantly fell in love with and just, you know, obsessed over for my entire life. You're a little upset that the uh, Godzilla v. Kong movie got delayed? I'm just used to it. I mean, the, the Godzilla King of the Monsters movie, the sequel to the 2014 one, that was supposed to come out two years later in 2016. Uh-huh. But then that got pushed to, obviously, 2019. Mm. But it got pushed to 2018, or 2017 at first, and then 2018, and that was the working title, and they had the, the date for it, and then all of a sudden it got postponed another year. So, like, I, I'm used to it now. I didn't think Kong versus Godzilla was going to come out in 2020, but uh, it's only been delayed a year, so hi, dog. I feel like we've been talking for so long, and yet like we haven't been talking about anything. Like mm-hmm. That's how I always feel like the good episodes go. Yeah. Like I remember we, we talked to Jack, we talked about when we work together, and then we talked about your art, but like it really just... Woo, did that fly. But it did. It got it, by pretty it was fast. Good. It was good. We got to mm-hmm. do it again sometime. We'll do it again sometime. I mean, I mean, sure, this was just an introduction, but I mean, like, an introduction to who? You. Mm-hmm. You have a lot of depth, and I feel like we only scratched the surface. Yeah, just put a scratch right? onto the iceberg. Well, you know, some some people, you know, like, sometimes I know, like, I can get them on again, or, like, I know what to talk about. Like, sometimes, like, I I, th- I think it's funny when I when I try to go deep, mm-hmm. and then, you know... There's so much to go deep about that you end up not even touching what you thought you were going to get yeah. into. And then another thing is, like, do they want me to go there? Mm-hmm. Like, is that is that going to upset them? Or are they going to crumple like i think a lot of people just do that though i think that's the point of good tv yeah is getting that realness i'm way over here and i wanted to keep it light i didn't want to go into anything too intense Mm -hmm. i just i just don't know like maybe it's just because i'm a little this is a first date yeah maybe next time maybe it's because i'm a little rusty but um i wanted to just keep it light Mm -hmm. but um well i mean like before this dog completely destroys this podcast yeah <laughs> do you have um you have anything to say like any you know like um shameless uh self sh- uh know, shameless shameless self promotion self promotion shameless like, self promotion favorite godzilla movie okay favorite godzilla movie honestly a lot of people might be upset about it, but it's the last one. Gets a little King of the Monsters. Oh, I'm not so saying there's do. anything wrong of any of the other ones. I love them to death. I love them so much. I always have good things to say about them. But I did like that one a lot. And something about me, something about it encaptured me. Just like actually seeing all these monsters with modern day technology. Yeah. Some, and then, like, you know, I thought there was plenty of monster carnage for me to enjoy. I feel like there was a little light little light I, I i mean like it was there but i mean like it, it's the constant cutting back to the humans like just i didn't like watch. i don't like this new thing they've been doing where they do like from the perspective of the people on the ground looking at the monsters up um but uh they did both though. they did they did some of the ones where they pan out and they just look at the whole monsters fighting and i liked those that's the th- those are the shots for giant monsters that i like but uh like let me see yeah. i do like those ground shots just because it's a dose of perspective yeah because you tend to forget how big the creatures yeah. are unless you see it from like our but like mix what i'm saying is Give us that shot, but then give us like a five minute shot of them shot just fighting each of them other. Just yeah. kicking the BS out of each yeah, other. Yeah, exactly. Like Pacific Rim style, which I know yeah. you're also a fan of. Oh, we Pacific Rim is another time. Yeah, so there's a whole other ball whole game. Whole another baby. ball game. But uh, yeah, so my art Instagram is artsymartsy94. Yeah. My YouTube is artsymartsyartist. So at look YouTube. me up uh, yeah, at YouTube. Look him up. Send him a DM if you want to buy any of his... Any of my pieces, of or if you want to do Godzilla. a little commission. Yeah, because, you know, this is like the Godzilla Museum over here. Like, you have, like, 
How long did it take you to get all these Godzilla pieces, really? These uh, SH Monster Arts figures behind us, they I started collecting a few years ago, back in like 2016. So it's been a few years, probably a couple thousand dollars. I used to do this with the Halo. Yeah. Back in the day. Halo figures. With the Halo figures, yeah. I was like, these are going to be worth money one day. Mm-hmm. That was, that was my parents' thought. <laughs> so... <laughs> I got, I like, I see, like, when you have, when you have it spread out, like, like, the way you have it, mm-hmm. it doesn't make you look crazy, because then it becomes, like, a thing. Decorative. It's like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, but when you have, like, a couple, and they're just, like. All masked on top of each yeah, other. Yeah, just, like, on top of, like, a counter or something, like, in your room, and you're just, like, hmm. But then, like, when it's, like, almost, like, um. An interior designer, mm-hmm. you know, where it's the aesthetic of the room. I fuck with that. Yeah. I fuck with that hard. Anyway. Right by dog. Let me tell you, the professional level just went from the TV shows to what we did earlier this year when that dog walked in the room, and that's how I felt. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's thanks that but lucas is a star lucas doing the podcast with lucas in the room was like first three months of the year and then when lucas was gone the entire rest of my life yeah entire rest of my life <laughs> everything's going smoothly i what do you i don't know how to work a tripod what excuse me i just don't know what is your job tripod guy got it got it got it well everybody <laughs> christian thank you so much thank for you for having me humoring me on this like gonna be like extra super long probably unwatchable episode of the podcast probably unwatchable <laughs> probably i dude i don't even watch it as i edit it dude i just do like the two or three times fast forward and that's it all right and that's it goodbye well, everyone bye bye Luke, guys lucas say goodbye Dummy. Oh. He's like, no, no, no thanks. Thank you. All right, see you next time. Yo, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> Just getting some B-roll for the <laughs> podcast. That's pretty dope. Yeah, dude.